And now back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic and your host, Bobby Likas. Uh, let's take a call from Florida, huh? Well, from uh, the state of Florida, Susie, uh, with an 07 uh, MKZ with a Lincoln. Susie, good morning. Welcome to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Glad to have you join us. Well, good morning, and God bless you, and thank you for call. I mean, taking my call. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, I am. Um, I'm one of your customers, but I'm I'm coming this month for a um air. I mean, oil change. But anyway, I was asking about the air and the heating system. When I turn it on, it makes this humming sound while the car is running. And the humming sound, would you say it's coming from the, behind the dash or or under the hood? Or, I mean, you know, hum for me. <laughs> Let me. Um, okay. And then, like, if I turn it down, it will still, you know, kind of go off, and then it'll come back later on if I change the system out. Well, Susie. It seems like it's from the system. From, from the HVAC, you mean from the heating or air conditioning system? Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. That. All right, all right. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to while the while it's humming, uh-huh. uh, turn the AC system off and the heater off all the way. Kill that. Mm-hmm. So have you tried that? Right, it doesn't do it when it's off. Oh. Only when I turn it on. Ah, okay. Well, there are two things. Uh, you could simply have, and we've we've seen this time and time again. You could simply have uh, some debris that has fallen down from the dash and gotten mm-hmm. into the blower cage. Uh, we've seen that, and and yet there's a there there's there's some duct work and and screens and and so it's not easy to to foul an, an, a fan. It's not easy to get debris into the fan, but it happens. Right. That's I, what your technician told me. So when I come in this month, I'm gonna let you check it oh, out. Oh, okay. Me. Oh, okay. And well, he was suggesting it might be in the glove compartment. It's a rod or something that controls it. He said that might be going. Well, there, there. there's a there's a, a cabin air filter there, uh, but you really can't. You really can't. Just for you to know. You really can't diagnose what the noise is if you turn the fan off and the fan and the noise goes away. You know it's got something to do with the fan. Now, is the fan defective? Is the bearing bad in the fan, or is the fan uh, is there debris that that's you know like the typical spoke in, in the bicycle wheels? And here's the bottom line: the same amount of labor it takes to pull the fan out to see if something has fouled the fan is the same amount of labor it takes. To uh, to replace the fan, so either way, there's going to have to be some time spent, as, as I'm sure that you've been informed, time spent to, for us to determine, or any shop to determine where the noise really lies. But uh, hey, I'm going to put your name in the hat for the 50 bucks, and if that's the case, this may be your lucky day. It will be, praise <laughs> the Lord, and I thank you. You I have like a blessed you. day. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.